Hey coach, Coach Sam here from Underdog Hoops. So in today's podcast, and also if you guys are watching on YouTube, we are going to go over uh, off-season workouts. So basically, what we're going to do uh, as coaches, you know, in the off-season, what we should do, uh, how we should go about it, what uh, days we should, how many days we should uh, have them work out, and stuff like that. So, basically, off season is from springtime to about fall time for basketball coaches. You know, most people go to or have AAU and stuff like that uh, to, you know, for summer and uh, into like spring and summers that main season. So you as a coach in the off season want to get better yourself because your kids expect them to get, or you want them to get better. So you also should try to get better as a coach. And I do this. I watch videos a ton and I watch other people's stuff and I, learn from that and you know i devote at least 30 minutes to an hour every day about learning a new set a new offense reading a book uh stuff like that so i watch old film i watch film that i've like the last year and i'll go over it again and i'll look at it and i'll see what did they do well how can i improve on this next year what did uh, they do that I noticed uh, and thought, wow, that is great defense or that is really good offense. And this is something that I can show to my next groups, uh, next group and show them, look, this is how it's supposed to be done. This is what needs to be done. And now let's go put it into action. So also, uh, right now, I mean, there's a ton of coaching clinics just because of everything that's going on right now, uh, but they're all free, or pretty much all of them are free uh, that I've seen or that I've been to, and they're all really, really good resources. Um, I've learned a lot from them just because, you know, it's we're cooped up in our houses right now, so it's, you know, our... Um, ideas can be, you know, to get better in this time, make the most of this situation. Uh, that's what I've been doing. You know, I've been looking for a lot of stuff and, you know, I watch YouTube videos. I watch, how do I run a two, three zone? How do I run, you know, that kind of stuff. How do I run a diamond press? Cause I am not that good at running the diamond press. And I want someone to show me how. Uh, so, I mean, I might not be a prof- professional at it. But if someone were to say, uh, do you know the diamond press? Or like how, uh, what, what is the concept of the diamond press? Uh, I could probably figure it out by watching a YouTube video. So, you know, that's those are things that you guys should be doing. Uh, just because your kids are doing their off-season workouts doesn't mean you don't have to do anything. Uh, that's kind of why I've, you know, made this a habit in the last few years is to learn something every day. Learn, devote my, like, 30 minutes to learning something about coaching or whatever. So, uh, and we ask really the same of our players to devote at least an hour uh, a day usually. So individual workouts daily, they should be doing this pretty much every day. Um, Shooting uh, close range to long range. So start in close, work your way out. Uh, And, you know, that's kind of the Larry Bird uh, mentality is, you know, he worked his way out. Uh, and you know, grab a partner, grab someone that you can, that you can have rebound for you and then just pass it back out to you. 
uh, and you can do this with a teammate as well. So you can grab a teammate, go to the park, uh, do whatever you got to do to get to a basket and, you know, have them start rebounding and then they have an opportunity to shoot after how many ever, however many attempts you guys choose. And then also two ball dribbling is huge. So practicing dribbling with both hands, uh, it really challenges the people that aren't really good at dribbling to get better. And I've seen so many people improve just in the last few years by doing this 10, five, 10 minutes a day, just doing two ball dribbling. And then I'd have them, they'd go the length of the court and then skip back. So rebounding, uh, rebounding and post work. It doesn't have to be. So this is kind of like, Oh, I, I don't want to teach post moves to my, uh, guards. Um, I would teach post moves to your guards because, uh, in high school, what if this guy grows to be six foot or six? So he's five, four or something. And then he grows to be six foot or whatever, or six, four, which, you know, I have a few of those that are going to be like, Oh, like they're going to, I mean, they were probably five, five or five, six when they, I got them. They're gonna. They're already on a varsity team. That they're gonna be six, six three at least probably by the end of the the summer. So you know they're already like they're really hitting their growth spurt. Uh, we've been having meetings, and their dad has been saying that they're growing like crazy, and they're two brothers, so they're growing like crazy. So we're gonna have some uh pretty good guys that can handle the ball. Uh, you can, and this is why I work on post work with everyone. It's also why I work on rebounding with everyone. So rebounding, you want to create, you want to make sure that you have a, uh, you can do a partner with this too. So you get like a little pad or a towel or whatever. So you don't hurt yourself, but, uh, get a towel or pad and, you know, the person that's, trying to get that offensive board, try to push on the guy that's trying to get the defensive board, get him out of position, make sure he box you out, uh, stuff like that. So I do this with a pad with my guys. I'll, you know, make sure they box me out, make sure. And if I get the ball, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not good. So, uh, and usually they can get the ball, but I usually push them pretty hard. So, I usually will do that four to five times a week during the off season. Uh, that's something that my players, you know, know they should do. Now, not everyone will do them, and that's okay. I mean, they just will not get any better. I mean, I would prefer to have everyone do them, but if no one, if I have five people that want to get better, five people want to get better. And if I have five people that don't want to get better, then I have five people that will ride the bench the rest of the the season and not get any playing time. It's just the truth. Uh, So this is also, so workouts. So um, inside, so you could do weights, push-ups, crunches. You got all these things that you can do. Pull-ups. Box jumps, jogging. Uh, this is all stuff that you can do three times a week, uh, two to three times a week at least. So, you know, you can stagger your stuff. So you can do uh, shooting on, you know, the whole week. And then on two or three of those days, you do a weight uh, weight workout. And then you do other stuff. So that's... This is all stuff that you guys can do throughout the week, and it doesn't have to be on the weekend. Uh, You can work it into your schedule. Um, For most people, uh, you could still go to school and do your homework and whatever and still do this at night. So it's 
it's good. It's uh, I think it's you know a good workout plan. Uh, so basically, questions. If you guys have those, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will get back to you guys. Um, and if you guys have anything that you guys would like to add, uh, please leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you. And that is it for the podcast and YouTube video, guys. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And have a good day.